Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to do a Morticia Adams inspired look. I went for the newer Morticia Adams um, in the movies rather than the old school one. I just personally think her makeup is way more glam in this version. So to get started, I'm basically doing my eyebrows. I am making them a little bit thinner than I usually do, actually a lot thinner than I usually do, and I'm making them sort of rounded. I'm not doing too much of an arch. A little bit of an arch, but nothing crazy or super dramatic. I definitely was looking at a reference picture the whole time I was doing this look as well. I'm sorry too, my camera kind of goes out of focus every once in a while. Um, it doesn't happen too often, but a couple times it happened. And I'm basically just making them pretty thin, nothing crazy, and I just put some clear brow gel on them to make sure the hairs stay in place. I'm using the NYX Control Freak brow gel right here. Next I'm just putting some concealer underneath of the brows to clean them up so they're super sharp and dramatic. You definitely want to prime your eyes as well. She wears a lot of shadows and we're going to be doing quite a bit with the shadow. So I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now taking my Morphe 35C palette, I'm using this light gray color and I'm using it as my transition color. I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone and then I am kind of doing like a weird C shape almost extending out. So I'm like almost extending it back up when I get closer to my brow. Taking the darker gray and the br or the black, I'm sorry, in this palette, I'm going to be going into my crease with this. I'm also going to be bringing this pretty far up to my brow bone there, closer towards the center of my eyes, and extending it down and up towards the end of my eye. You almost want the end of your eyeshadow and the end of the eyebrow to meet. I watched both the Addams Family movies the morning I did this, this morning, um, so I really examined her makeup quite a bit. And then I just take my fluff brush with the light gray on it and I'm just going in and blending that line out a little bit. Taking my NYX white eyeshadow base, I'm just putting that all over my lid. This is almost like a cut crease. It definitely is a cut crease, but it's not a sharp cut crease. It's like a really blended looking cut crease. Just put that all over your lid and then take your fingers and tap out the excess grease or oils that's in this. For me, it always creases really bad if I don't tap it out, so make sure you do that. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit, I'm taking the color Star. It's a really pretty silver color, and I'm placing that all over my lid. She does have quite a bit of shimmer um, in her makeup if you take a look at it. Now I'm just taking some black and gray and just going back over that line. Like I said, you don't want it to be a sharp line. You want it to be kind of blended out. But using that white eyeshadow base just helped clean up the line a little bit. I'm taking that same highlighter and I'm putting that in my brow bone and that whole area where it's kind of like cut down or like that C shape that we left empty, you want to put highlighter all throughout that area, if that makes sense. 
Now for my primer, I'm using the Smashbox Oil Primer. And I just put this in my T-zone. It's really weird, like you would think you don't put oil in your T-zone, but this is what works for me when doing my primer. This is what helps me keep my makeup on all day long. So I put the oil in the T-zone areas, and then I use this Becca. Um, it's a ever matte kind of pore primer and it really really shrinks your pores it really mattifies them i have oily skin in my t-zone but like dry skin on all the other areas of my face so i do the oil and then i put the mattifying primer on top of this i'll have it down in the description box what it's exactly called because i can't think of it right now but this is what works for me best now i'm taking my nyx cosmetics stay matte but not flat foundation in creamy neutral and my above and beyond concealer and porcelain and i'm just putting the foundation all over my face obviously and I'm also bringing it down my neck and then put your concealer in your normal areas and before I blend out my concealer I always like to spray my face with some finishing mist for me this just helps blend it out and helps keep it in place longer blend it out with a damp beauty blender or whatever you choose now I'm taking my NYX Cosmetics HD Studio Photogenic powder and my HD finishing powder and I'm using the finishing powder first and I am packing this on all over my face. I'm especially packing it on underneath of my eyes but this really gives for that white skin tone and Morticia is definitely pale, as pale as you can get so pack this powder on all over the place. I also did my concealer in a little bit of the shape that she has of her cheekbones. She has some really dramatic cheekbones. And then I decided I wanted to carve out my eyelid a little bit more. So I'm taking that white eyeshadow base and I'm bringing it up a little bit farther just in the corners of my eyes. Putting some more highlighter on top of that. Doing the same thing for both of the eyes. Now it's time to contour. She has a super badass contour. It's really exaggerated. She's got some high cheekbones. So really carve out your cheekbones, but make it really blended. We don't want anything too harsh. I mean, we want it harsh, but we want it to look like it's her natural kind of cheekbones going on there. So I just kind of brought it down a little bit. And then I put a darker color like right underneath of the cheekbone that I carved out and this will help make that cheekbone look way more exaggerated. And then if you need to, just take your powder brush and blend it out and blend it all together. Oh yeah. Now, make sure you contour your nose. She definitely has a nose contour. And it's starting at her eyebrows and going down and she has a pretty straight, um, thin nose. So just try to replicate that shape as best as you can. Like I said, I was thinking, I found one picture and I just looked at it the whole time I was doing this makeup. Bring it all the way down your nose. Make sure you blend it out. You can take your beauty blender, your damp beauty blender, and just kind of like smudge it out a little bit if the line is too harsh. And use a really tiny brush when doing this. Don't use a super long or super wide or thick brush. We really want to get some thin lines here and I just blend it in with my eyeshadow. Her eyeshadow does go all the way up to the inner corners of her brows, so it's no big deal. Also, with that same brush, just make a little shadow on the bottom of the nose and shade in your Cupid's bow a little bit. She has a really exaggerated one. And I just filled in my temples and kind of contoured those a bit as well.
Now to finish the eyes, I'm just using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm lightly filling in my waterline. I'm not going crazy with this, she doesn't have a super smudged out waterline, so just do it really thin. Then very, very lightly with a little tiny bit of product, I'm just taking my brush and smudging it out a tiny bit. Create your cat eye. I'm using the LA Splash Art Architect Eyeliner. She has a really small cat eye, so don't go too crazy with this either. Now I put foundation all over my chest, my shoulders, my neck, all of that, and now I'm pattering the um, finishing powder on like we did with the face, and I'm just packing it on all over the place. You want your chest to match your face, especially if you're wearing a dress like Morticia. And I also contoured my boobs a little bit. I just took a gray and a warm brown color like I did on my face and just contoured it out a little bit and took my powder brush and really blended it together so it looked more natural and not too crazy looking. And also contour your collarbones. I just think this always makes a look stand out, makes it look all t pulled together as well, just makes the look, look, look <laughs> really awesome. Contour your jawline as well, definitely contour your jawline. Then I just took some white eyeshadow and I just placed it all over the high points of my chest and my shoulders. Now I'm taking Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw and I'm just filling in my lips. You can do your lips thinner because she does have thin lips, but I like me some voluptuous lips, so I filled them in as normal. I just exaggerated my Cupid's bow more than I usually do. And then I put a little bit of highlight on my face. I just used that same silver highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. I just did a little bit. I didn't go too crazy. I also highlighted my collarbones a bit. And then I put some white powder all over my ears just to make the whole look cohesive in case you do see my ears. But yeah, guys, that's it. This is a very simple look to do, super easy for Halloween. I also have a Wednesday Adams uh, tutorial where I do three different Wednesday Adams looks, actually. And I will link that down below, or you can go check it out on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do this look for a while. I just had to examine her makeup a little bit more. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I hope you have a happy Halloween. Stay tuned for the rest of the looks for this month. I have a few more planned. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.